I'm gonna cry again. Hello, good morning, angels. Hello, good morning. Quick little hi, but it is Tuesday and I'm about to go on a run. I'm gonna do a little short run. Actually, short this time. Last time I said I was gonna do 2K, I ended up doing 4K. Um, I'm gonna run, it's a 20 minute run. I'm gonna do an out and back. Or maybe a 2k I, th I think I'm gonna do an out and back so chat to you guys after this is the fit sorry I've been so MIA um, I'm just sitting at my desk doing work I've been in meetings um, and friend brought some iced coffee my second one I got a box from Kayla which I'll show later and it is 4 p.m. and I'm just gonna be finishing off some work for the day, some marketing material for our podcast, um, and that's what up. That is what I'm doing. I just wrote my resignation for Lulu. I'm gonna cry again. Why am I crying over a job? I don't think I've ever loved a job so much. I feel like It's so emotional for me. I can't believe I'm putting this on the internet. I feel like it's so emotional to me to leave because I came to Lulu when I was in a very like vulnerable and low place. And now I'm leaving in a place that's where I've had so much growth, both emotionally and in my career and life in general. And I think that being a part of Blue Lemon, even just as an educator, was a huge part of my growth as a person. And now this means that chapter has closed and I'm moving forward. And I'm happy, I'm so happy. I know it doesn't seem like it, but it's scary making changes. But sometimes you gotta jump so that you can fly. I don't know if that's the right the right quote metaphor. I don't know it's not a metaphor. <laughs> it's not a goodbye. It's a see you soon. A see you later. If you're from my Lulu fam, just know that I appreciate you and every single one of you so much and that I don't want to lose contact with you. <laughs> but I'm gonna go on a walk on this note. <laughs> A quick little walk to clear my head before I go to bed because I'm exhausted. It was a crazy day at work. But let's do a quick little oh my god <laughs> unboxing of Kayla's merch because I know you want to see it. So in this little box we have a cute little health is wealth mug. Then she gifted me I've been wanting the sweater so bad. The Health is Wealth sweater. The Health is Wealth tote bag. The Book of Health, the second edition. She's stunning. Lastly, this adorable sticker, which we love. So thank you, Kayla. Love you. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I'm gonna take an active rest day. I just put on these line shorts and my Fruity Bee Serene bra to go on a little walk. I'm just putting my jewelry on, my perfume, taking my vitamins and whatnot. And I'm gonna go on a walk. I'm gonna take a rest day. I really need one. Um, it's been too long since I've taken one and I'm starting to really feel it. I feel like my skin is starting to clear a bit, so there's hope. It's very 
sunny outside. It is not even 7 a.m. Um, but I'm gonna go on a walk, clear my head, really need that, make coffee before I go. And let's get after it. salad from Kayla's Book of Health. I absolutely love all her salads. They're always so amazing. There's so many recipes in here. So great. So many helpful tips. Definitely check it out. You can use Lanny 15 for 15% 15 off, but this is what I'm about to go make. Been busy working away, went on a walk. This is what I'm currently wearing. It's just the on biker shorts and this t-shirt from princess polly which i'm actually currently obsessed with but let's go make this salad this is the finished salad she looks beautiful and i've been obsessed with this tuna it's so so good and it's mini cans and it's like the perfect size so i highly recommend hello i'm back from my walk well i didn't tell you i went for a walk i went for a walk then i came home grabbed this tote bag grabbed my wallet went and got groceries i'm gonna show you a little grocery haul it's not like a complete one it's just a little pick-me-ups lots of fun things i got um dandelion tea i normally get like the roasted dandelion i got the leaf and root one because i saw um someone got this i forget i'm like on her name right now and then i got I've never had these ones but i got the so delicious dipped salted caramel made with cashew milk i've been having ice cream every night you already know that and then this is so exciting and i need to put these in the freezer asap because i walked home and it's like really hot out but they have dream pops and i've been dying to try these i like follow the owner on linkedin so i knew they were in canada this is the coconut latte flavor it's coconut vanilla and coffee super excited to try this they also had a berry flavor i wish they had like the chocolate i'm very much a chocolate gal then i've been wanting these for so long they're the veggie fries um it's just carrots parsnips beets that's it so I want to try those. I'm going to make those tonight. Needed some soy free like soy sauce like coconut aminos. And then I also finished my Siggy's yogurt earlier today. So I picked up another one because I want to be able to have it tomorrow. It's only Wednesday. So I'm going to put this away and then I'm going to make these in the air fryer. And I have like salmon pokey thawing. I know it's really random combo but we're rolling with it and then i'll probably have one of these later and i'll do a little foodie reveal but chat soon the veggie fries and they look insane oh my god good morning happy thursday it's just after seven it's so gloomy today i don't know what's up this lighting i'll come here um it's gloomy and raining and i'm about to go lift i was gonna change my earrings played around with the second one but i didn't like it so i just put it back i'm gonna go work out it's upper body today and last night i was watching sarah's day's new vlog and she said she's coming out with a new fitness plan and it seems really up my alley it's more weightlifting it's a lot of cross training um less like body weight stuff so i didn't love her other workout plans despite loving her so i'm so for this one um probably gonna get it and comment down below what your favorite workout plans are to follow i'm such a workout plan girl um right now i'm doing liz kazar is a personal training workout plan 
um, for weightlifting and then I'm doing Tasha Frank and Pilates like one to two times a week and then running and skipping but oh that breeze is so nice it was so hot in my room my window's open but let's go work out I'm wearing my new black free to be wild bra and then I'm just wearing my Aritzia biker shorts these are like the TNA ones from two summers ago I really want a set from their new like body line um but let's stop procrastinating and let's go work out <laughs> Greek yogurt bowl. I'm out of granola so I did a little bit of coconut flakes and cacao nibs but I just did frozen berries, banana, ciggies, Greek yogurt, cinnamon and then the coconut flakes and cacao nibs and I'm just working still and it's sunny. It was supposed to be raining like this whole day. I don't know what happened. Not mad about it but I really want to wash my hair but I plan to run tomorrow so I want to wait until after that because obviously my hair is going to get sweaty when I run I'm going to go for a walk later like in an hour or so I'm going to record a solo episode of the pod tonight originally I was going to record with Tamara um but we rescheduled to tomorrow so originally tomorrow I was going to film a film record a solo episode so I just switched it I'll do that but yeah, I'm just finishing up work, finishing stuff for a campaign, and was answering emails, also for Lanny Be Fit, and whatnot. I'm a little stressed with school right now. I might email my professor and ask for an extension. I actually have accommodations for that, so I think I'm actually going to do that. I need to get his email. I don't normally, but I just want to have it there to kind of like chill me out a bit, you know? Okay. record I was debating between doing a fitness one um, but I decided there's a question about hot girl summer mentality and I feel like there's been this whole thing about like hot girl summer and it's like a physical thing but mm -hmm. for me it's a whole mentality and I know a lot of people are starting to like talk about how it's a mentality and it's not a physique and you don't have to lose weight and etc. You don't need to lose weight for a hot girl summer, that it's not about dieting and this and that. I'm really sorry for this lighting. So I thought because I'm someone who's been preaching like hot girl summer, being that girl, um, thought it would be a fun topic for the pod. So we're gonna record an episode on that. I think it will be fun. Um, I have it all planned out and if you want to listen to it, it will be live when you're listening to or well, watching this episode, this episode, what am I saying, this <laughs> video. So let's do it. Hello, good morning angels and welcome back to Morning Ray. Sucking 
not vlogging today. My apologies, but I just recorded an episode with Tamara. 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 <laughs> I suck at saying names. I'm so sorry. My hair is so insanely curly. It's so hot. It's been a crazy day. My nails are still really bad. Okay, amazing. So it's Friday. I'm gonna pick up the vlog camera more tomorrow. I don't want this vlog to be too long. But tomorrow morning at 11, I'm touring at my first apartment that I'm going to look at. And then, I don't know, I need to do work. I got an extension for my assignment at school because I've just been so busy. Um, and it's in my accommodation. So I thought, why not use it to the advantage? I'll probably have it done by the due date anyhow. It's just knowing that I have that buffer just calms my anxiety, distresses me. Um, same way how I have extra time on exams, I never use it. I never even use the time, all the time that the professor gives us for exams, but just knowing that it's there chills me. Um, so I decided, why not use my accommodation that's there that I haven't used. I'm having, my, well, I'm not having. My parents are having my sister and brother-in-law, John, over tonight for dinner. I'm trying a tuna steak. I actually need to search for a recipe to marinate it because i don't know how to marinate it um barbecue tuna steak i feel like i want to do like soy sauce and sesame seeds i'm just looking on pinterest asian tuna steaks grilled tuna steaks four cloves of garlic two teaspoons of ginger soy sauce sesame oil i'm i'm down for this and i feel like i need a drink tonight i just feel like some wine or a cooler or something i've been at the computer for too long i will probably bring my computer my camera down and just show you an overview of the food but i feel like a five-year-old with my coat i just made the marinade it was an eighth cup sesame oil a sixth cup um, soy sauce, two garlic cloves, a teaspoon of ginger. I just put the tuna steak in here and trying to get it covered. And it says to marinate for 30 minutes, so I'm doing that. And then my dad will grill it on the barbecue, but before that you like roll it in sesame seeds. So, Chef Lanny back at it again. Good morning, happy Saturday. I just went on a little walk. I'm wearing these shorts from Free People and this bra from Lululemon. It's 9.15 a.m. I'm gonna make breakfast and then I'm gonna probably have a body shower because I'm kind of sweaty now. Um, but then we're leaving at around like 10, 15, so in an hour to go and tour the apartment. Super exciting. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me and ah, I'm so excited to go apartment hunting so <laughs> It's just banana, blueberries, ginger, not ginger, turmeric, cinnamon, a date, coconut chips, coconut water, and I added a little protein powder. So I'm gonna have this and I'll chat to you later. We just got down and we're in the parking garage and we're gonna meet them in like 15 minutes.
strawberry blonde bakery. And it's all pink and vegan. Gluten free and non -free. Sorry about the air. It's just so freaking hot. But it is Sunday morning at 11, 12 a.m. I just got my nails fixed because I tried to take them off this week and failed. The apartment I toured yesterday was stunning and the only downside was that the second bedroom which because it's like a one plus one so it's a den it doesn't have a window but they're both the same size so it's still pretty roomy um but i'm going to tour another unit today which is stunning i couldn't tell what the den was like from the photos i couldn't tell if it had a door um so and it's being sold as a two bedroom as well so i'm gonna go look that out and it's a brand new building and it's stunning and it's prime location so i will report back on how that is i went for a run this morning it is so hot it is currently 28.5 degrees um it's gonna be 30 feels like 36 liter my hair is insanely curly i just like wet it a little bit in the shower after i ran but it's insanely curly trying just to vibe with the curls and i'm obsessed with my nails like how summer vibes are these they're so cute but i'm gonna drive home now i have a call at 11:45, and i'm gonna leave by the pool until then i'm absolutely starving i have to like rush to shower and everything after my workout and then come here and like i'm not even wearing any makeup so we love it, but we're wearing sunscreen, so that's all that matters. I'm wearing the Soft Ambition shorts from Blue Lemon, and then this is just like a bra top from Forever 21, like a million years ago, but I'm gonna drive home. Oh.